Okay, so we're going to be talking about how to work out the perimeter and the area of regular shapes. And usually in an exam question, it will be given to you in this sort of format. Usually it's an L shape, and they will give you some of the dimensions. Now the thing to remember is that the perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside. So if I've got, uh, there's a little fella, and he's going to run all the way around there, around the outside, okay, and back again, it would be how far he's actually run. So, what do I know about this shape? Well, I know that this distance across the top here is 10 centimetres. So I can put uh, 10 centimetres there. And I'm going to work out perimeter. Okay. And then I also know that distance there is 6 centimetres. So I can add 6 to that. I know also that this distance here is 10 take away 5, which is... 5 centimetres, so there's 5 there. And just as a little tip here, it's probably a good idea to tick as you put the distances down there, just to make sure that you cover all the different distances. Okay, so this distance here we know is 6 centimetres, we know this is 5, and we know this is back to 12 centimetres, which is 6 plus 6. So I know I've done that one, no, I've done that one, and that one is 12. And if I add all of those up, that's um, 12, 24, 34, 44 centimetres. So the perimeter for this shape is 44 centimetres. Now, a couple of things that you might want to also be aware of is that occasionally you might get slightly different units of measurement. So sometimes it might give you metres, sometimes centimetres, sometimes millimetres. But when you're adding all of these together, you need to make sure that it's the same unit that you're adding together. And also you will gain a mark on the exam usually for making sure that you put in the correct units of measurement. So that will take care of perimeter. Okay, the other thing to be aware of is the other part of the question, which would be area. What I'm going to do is, to make it a little bit easier, I'm just going to divide this uh, shape up into two separate blocks. So I've finished with my little man here. I'm going to divide it up into two separate blocks. And the area is all of this area added to all of that area. Now, if I look at my diagram, I can say that the area of this piece here is 5 centimetres, which is this width, multiplied by 12 centimetres, which is this height. This is 12 here, so 12 centimetres here. So 5 multiplied by 12 on this block here is 60 centimetres. Now... One of the things to remember is that you're multiplying 12 times 5, which is 60, but also centimetres times centimetres. And the way that we mark that is centimetres squared. And that's the unit that we use, something to the power of 2 or something squared, for working out areas and, and measuring areas. Um, the other thing to be aware of is this block here. Now, I know it's 6 there. And I know it's 5 along here, because 10 minus 5 is 5 centimetres. This is 5 centimetres. 6 times 5 is 30. And again, it's centimetres times centimetres, which is centimetres squared. So therefore, to work out the area of this shape, I just simply add these two numbers together. So the area, I'll write it in here, is... 60 plus 30, which is 90 centimetres squared. Okay, so perimeter is all the way around. Area is the units that the, uh, that the shape is made up of. And if you want to practice, have a look at the website, which is probably up about here, mathrap.co.uk. Okay, and you'll be able to download a couple of questions and have a go and make sure that you'll be okay with working out the perimeter and area of a regular shape.